to get your thoughts on the, the online solicitation of a minor statute being held unconstitutional once again, um, and where this issue is going to end up as it plays out through the courts of appeal. I, I think it's something that, that we're going to see go to the next level, and I think ultimately that, you know, it's going to fail, and the legislature will go back to the drawing board and, and see if what they can come up with to correct the errors. Um, I mean, I think the Montgomery County situation is kind of a, a love-hate relationship without the love part. Right. Uh, and it, and I think it's all about politics uh, up there. You got a judge looking at the law and making a decision, and and politics takes uh, comes into play, mm -hmm. which God is not exactly. forbid a judge strong. look at the law and make a decision based on the law. Yeah. Yeah, and not, not with like? politics, but well, like, <laughs> like I mean, yeah. so, Judge K should be celebrated. I, I agree with you. Yeah. I, I mean, he is. Uh, everybody wants to harp on the fact that he's a defense lawyer. The Montgomery County people want to want to go at him because he's a former defense lawyer who's just nothing but a whore for the defense. That that's what their mantra right. is. Yep. Nothing could be further from the truth. He was a prosecutor in Galveston County. Yes, he was a defense lawyer, but he's been on both sides, and now he's a judge. And he ran on a platform to clean up, oh yeah, a backed up and possibly corrupt judge uh, in Montgomery County. And so he's cleaned up the court up there. But see, they just can't handle the neutrality. When you really truly have a judge who's neutral on, on the bench, that makes a difference, and this is the sort of difference that it makes, and that's the reason why they don't want to see him there anymore.